Welcome to the Best of Hindsight Tonight. I'm Damian Musiani, and here is this week's theme. Enjoy. Well, Governor Ron DeSantis answered that question when he stripped Mickey of his 60-year tax break deal over opposition to his controversial Don't Say Gay bill. Funny, because while the bill was winding its way through the goofy Florida legislature, Disney stayed quiet as a mouse about it, but found themselves unable to duck out of the LGBTQ-supported walkouts, which was certainly nothing to Olaf about. So they said, sorry, we had a mini breakdown in communication. We must have been living on Pluto all this time. That funding we originally gave the bill is just a figment of your imagination. We've all got woodies now that we oppose it. Jiminy Cricket would have mess. The CNN news set was not in the Capitol, but where it always is, inside their news studio. They simply filmed in front of a green screen to make it appear as if they were there live. See, here's the same desk with their in-studio backdrop. You see how that works, Greg? This is a technology that eight-year-olds have mastered on TikTok. What a proud day it is for those 17th district constituents who elected you, for sure. Hey, Greg, welcome to Hindsight. Look, we're broadcasting today from Statuary Hall as well. Hello! Hello. Hello. It's cavernous here. Oh no! Now we're reporting from the frigid peak of Mount Everest! <sighs> Brr, what were we thinking? Now we're inside the Stubby family home in Sarasota, Florida. Hi, Greg! Whoa, stand your ground. Don't shoot us in the back. That's so Floridian. That'll have geriatrics sleeping out at pharmacies like at Woodstock for whenever the improved vaccine comes out for sure. Hi, Grandma. Where can I send you your birthday card? Just send it to the Walgreens, love. I live outside now. Anthony Fauci will save me, you'll see. <laughs> a hindsight exclusive, we have Smith here to answer our own questions. Thanks for joining us, Will. I understand you still haven't opened up your $140,000 swag bag that you got on Oscar night. I'm not gonna try to unpack all of that right now. That's understandable. I mean, you've been so busy these days losing four movies and counting since March. This incident raised awareness of your wife's alopecia condition. Tell us, does she still have hair on her head or is it just smooth? It's, 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 it's all fuzzy. I see. Thank you. Will, what does it say about your character that instead of apologizing to Chris Rock on tape 130 days ago, you waited until you started losing millions of dollars in revenue to do it? I'm trying not to think of myself as a piece of shit. <laughs> That's not necessary, Will. So many people already do. Thanks for your time. You know, if we had any balls at all, we should have kept that visit to Beijing and sent the only person who could beat China at its own game. U.S. Representative George Santos. Oh yeah, Jinping? Well, we've got 50 weather balloons over Beijing right now and a bunch of nuclear warheads pointing at you from Tibet, Nepal, and Taiwan. And I am the living love baby of Buddha and Shang Di. So put that in your hot pot and cook it. Ah, political strategy is so easy. Sandra Day O'Connor herself said in 2003 that during the 2020s, the need for racial preferences in college will no longer be necessary. You want to attack a revered and idolized trailblazing female judge? That's on you. I'm just bringing you words in a box. If crazy serial killers are watching and reacting, <laughs> kindly take it up with them. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week with more of the best of Hindsight Tonight.